Wyoming Senator and member of the Senate Banking Committee is Cynthia Lummis. Senator Lummis, thank you for joining us. Do you do you agree with your uh, your Democratic colleague? Should we have a clawback of this pay or just ride it out? Oh, I think uh, clawback makes sense here, as do a lot of other issues. It's been known for a while uh, that these banks uh, were poorly managed, um, and uh, the regulators also missed the boat on these. There were signs that uh, these institutions uh, needed uh, some regulatory scrutiny and they didn't get it. And we know the Fed had the authority to do the uh, necessary scrutiny and failed to do so. Yeah, and, and of course, like everything else, Senator, this has been politicized. And before anybody actually knew anything, we already heard the, the mantra, and I've heard it in the media as well, where you know, if we, if we didn't have that roll bank of the Dodd-Frank regulations in 2018, this would never have happened. I have spoken to exactly zero people that are nonpartisan banking experts who believe that. They said three of, I spoke to four yesterday, three said had no impact because they probably would have passed the stress test anyway, leverage capital ratios, et cetera. And one said, probably not, but let's try to figure out the latest stress test, get news before we know. Why is this devolved into some something around around a rollback of a rule that, by the way, could have been unrolled back over the last two years. Yeah, that rule didn't have anything to do with this. That is just subterfuge, trying to change the subject. Uh, even Barney Frank of Dodd-Frank said that uh, didn't have anything to do with it. This was a liquidity issue. Uh, and uh, the Fed did have the authority it needed uh, to go in and investigate. So I hope the Fed will look at it, and I think Congress should too. So I think there needs to be some oversight by Congress. Th these banks were poorly managed, poorly. And then the regulators who had some indication that that was the case uh, didn't use their existing authority to go in and validate that. And here we are today in a situation where now other financial institutions may need to help bail out uh, depositors who had deposits in excess of the $250,000 limit on FDIC insurance. I don't think that's fair. I think small banks, community banks, uh, who have depositors, almost all of which are under $250,000 per account, are, they shouldn't have to bail out. Uh, these banks that were uh, taking much higher risk and depositors who were taking much higher risk and knew they were taking yeah. that risk. Yeah. And by the way, even if that rollback did have something to do with this, which I, most people I talk to don't think it did, but even if it did, if you've basically got control of the House and the Senate and the White House for full two years, you think if it's a priority, you could have gotten it done because you basically had a single party system. All right, Senator, I've got to get your thoughts on some breaking news right now regarding TikTok. Totally different issue. Senator, the Wall Street Journal reporting the Biden administration is telling TikTok's Chinese owned parent, it's called ByteDance, to sell its stake in TikTok or face a total ban. Your reaction? I think they're right. I think that uh, there's too much information that we have that TikTok has. Uh, connections to the CCP, uh, the Chinese Communist Party, uh, and quite frankly, uh, Americans got all upset when that balloon flew over the United States some weeks ago, but on this phone that everybody has, uh, TikTok is able to harvest your data all the time and provide it through ByteDance to the Chinese Communist Party. So I think it is yeah. important. Uh, and I support uh, Marco Rubio's bill. You used to, uh, Senator, to I think you used to be issue. used to be a little more sort of centrist about it, or at least maybe not as hard line. What has changed on TikTok? Well, I think that our concern about China, about uh, their ability to surveil Americans, about their interest in having a uh, central bank digital yuan uh, that can surveil the, its users. Uh, it's ubiquitous uh, response to uh, gaining control over strategic minerals all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, and, and it's oppression uh, of groups in China. Uh, the lies yeah. that they told about the origins of the Wuhan virus 
uh, COVID-19. Uh, these are all indications uh, that China's best interests are not our best interests. No, they're the Chinese Communist Party's best interests. I think we know that. Uh, this is a fascinating story. Sell it or it's going to be banned in the United States. Senator, we really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.